What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends Venom Wave Venom Pool Build-A-Figure Series Morbius Action Figure Review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's take a look at Morbius. This Morbius look is based off how he appeared in the 90s Rise of the Midnight Sun six part story arc, a more gothic leather appeal that's more derivative from his classic Dracula style. Taking a look at the head sculpt then it's okay i'm not crazy about it his hair is like blown back as if he's using a blow dryer or something and i guess i think i know what they were going for with this hair effect and that's most likely to capture the part three of the midnight sun's cover issue when it's all you know blown back like that but it's good for like lunging poses you know it's gonna look good for that i don't know man i like seeing morbius with a beard and it's just Kind of weird not seeing them with it. But they try to do this kind of print shading around the eyes, as you can see. I feel like it should have been a little bit darker. I don't know. It just looks like his skin is too soft. If I compare this face to the last one that came out, you can see it, his skin looks a lot more rough. Like, almost looks more decrepit. I don't know. It just, I, I still like this one way more than this one. He's got some wrinkles on his facial expressions. He's got the pointy ears. That's the back of the hair. And yeah, uh, the fangs came out really nice. I definitely feel like they should have roughed this face up a little bit more. The rest of the torso is new though. You got this little flap right here. Got some buttons sculpted. You got a zipper right there. Uh, got some buckles, you know, so it looks good. This right here, this belt piece is a separate piece. So that is also newly sculpted. I think the crotch area right here is also newly sculpted. You got these two seams going down towards his crotch. So I don't, I don't remember seeing that before. He's got this cool flowing looking tattered cape that's flowing to my left or his right. So I think that looks pretty cool. It is removable though. So, you know, that's just the back of the figure you see right there. If you want to do a cape swap with them, you can, but eh, it just doesn't look right. I mean, you got these arms that we've seen before. You got these wrist straps that were previously used by Deadpool. And then you get these new hands. So these are newly sculpted hands. Never seen these before. And they look nice. Kind of pointy too. I do like the dark color purple that we're getting here with this figure. It looks really nice. And that pink cape really brings it out. So... I do like that and these legs we've seen before so nothing new there and it's just plain you know his feet and pegles at the bottom. All right, now to cover articulation with Morbius, his head looks that far up and he looks that far down, left right and he does have some head tilt. You have his arms that move that far up, down, all around. You got the shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows and then you got the wrist swivel and the wrist hinge. Ab crunch moves that far forward and that far back not much back actually and that's all you're gonna get so the classic one will definitely get better lunging poses you got a waist swivel his legs move that far apart he kicks up that high kicks that far back and his legs rock around you got the thigh swivel double jointed knees and no heel to the morbius butt and you got his calf swivel ankles move up down and all around ankle pivot now for some comparisons here is morbius next to the sh figure arts jared leto joker as we know, Leto is playing Michael Morbius in the Morbius movie. The movie looks intriguing and looking forward to a movie figure from that because we know it's going to happen eventually. But I would like Leto to get another shot to play the Joker. His Joker was my least favorite of all, but I believe in second chances and I feel we didn't see his full potential after they robbed him from a lot of screen time in that Suicide Squad movie. Here we have Morbius next to the retro Spider-Man animated series Black Cat. Hopefully we get an animated series Legends for Morbius and Retro Packaging. He used to crack me up in that show. Felicia, I hunger for plasma. Here he is next to Spider-Man and Blade. Here he is next to the classic Morbius from the Absorbing Man Build-A-Figure Wave, I believe. And for a head swap, here you go. Not too bad. And finally, here he is next to his fellow wave mates, and my next review will be the Venom Pool Bath to round out the wave, and I'm so excited to review that figure. And now for my on-the-shelf segment, since I have the classic Morbius in my Spider-Man display, I decided to display this Morbius in my Marvel Knights shelf to give him a home in my collection. Also, here is the Hand Ninja from the Stiltman Wave, as I didn't do an on-the-shelf segment in that video. And now to wrap things up, my final rating is a 7 out of 10. He's not that bad, but he's not that good either. He's kind of a hit and miss at the same time. A little more details on the face would have went a long way. His predecessor definitely wins in the head sculpt department. The new upper torso and hands look good as well as the cape, but the rest is just plain. 
I like the Morbius character, especially his battles with Spider-Man as the whole superpower versus supernatural matchup always intrigued me. I feel like we should have gotten the movie version here instead. Honestly, these last two Morbius figures didn't do for me, so I'm hoping a movie version or an animated series version will win for me next time around. Especially the animated series. I'm very attached to that look growing up as a big fan of the Spider-Man animated series. I think that would be my main Morbius in my Spider-Man display. Now we kick it back to you guys. Morbius the Living Vampire, what do you think about it? Which version would you like to see next? Movie or animated series? Comment below, let me know, we'll chat about it. That was my review, please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends Venom Wave Venom Pool Build-A-Figure series at Big Bad Toy Store, link is in the description below. Check out my online store at shopxmanny87.com to buy some props and dioramas. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new, enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review, peace peace.